Welcome to continuing coverage of the Jameson WFCU Windsor Roseland Charity Classic. I'm joined by Will Strickler, who sits seven under par for the tournament through 54 holes. And Will, you'll have a nice chance to win tomorrow. I know we talked yesterday about you looking forward to have more chances to win. Uh, what are you looking forward to for tomorrow? Um, just like you said, the chance to win. Um, I, you know, I played really well today, and I'm proud of myself for that. Kept myself in the in the hunt, and you know, I think I'm tied for the lead at the moment. So. Uh, you know, I'm definitely in a good spot to, to go give it a run tomorrow. Now, uh, I was just talking with Mike Gligic, and we were saying uh, how some of the longer hitters have done well so far this week. I know you're one of the longest players on our tour. Uh, there's thick rough around the course. It's uh, narrow fairways. Talk about what uh, your strategy has been sort of playing this course and why you think you, you've done well so far. Um, well, I've been hitting my driver pretty well this week. You know, I do miss some fairways, but, you know, like you said, I hit it pretty far. So, you know, instead of hitting a seven iron in, I'm hitting a wedge in. So... You know, even if the rough is long, I can still attack it with a wedge and, and get it on the green. But, uh, you know, today I, I hit a lot of good drives. And the, the two par fives, I hit it down the middle and was able to knock them on the green. So, you know, I can take advantage of my length, especially when I hit it in the fairway. Now, you're certainly a prodigious hitter of the ball, but you mentioned uh, just a while ago that your short game's been pretty good this week. You made a nice number of up and downs. Uh, talk about how much of an advantage that's been uh, for you this week. Um, well, it's always nice to have a good short game because it kind of saves you around. Um, I had... You know, the back nine is definitely playing tougher, and I had a, a couple good saves on, um, I forget the holes, but uh, I had numerous up and downs uh, that really, you know, kept me going. I made a nice up and down on 17, which was nice because I didn't, I just bogeyed 16, and, and I knew 18 was coming up, and that was a tough hole. So, um, you know, I, I, ma I made a lot of good putts as well today. Um, so hopefully I can just keep that going for tomorrow. And we mentioned just a little while ago that you're, you know, you've got another great chance to win tomorrow. You had a great chance in Saskatoon. What are maybe some things that you picked up from that event? I know you finished quite well there. Uh, that you'll take into tomorrow. Um, I think the biggest thing I did, uh, I took away from Saskatoon was, you know, I just gotta believe in myself. You know, I I can do it. You know, sort of attitude, and uh, I'll just try to apply that for tomorrow, and and uh, just know that I can, um, I can win, and. Uh, you know, just see how it goes. Well, congratulations on some good plays so far, and good luck tomorrow. Thank you.